I'm very happy to be presenting on behalf of our Checkmate 025 investigators some of the data that you'll see tomorrow on the randomized open label phase three study of nivolumab versus everolimus in advanced renal cell carcinoma. So each year, an estimated 338,000 new cases of renal cell carcinoma are diagnosed worldwide. And approximately 30% of these patients present with metastatic disease at the time of diagnosis. Those of you may know that metastatic disease has about a five-year survival of only 8%. A number of targeted therapies have been approved for the treatment of metastatic renal cell carcinoma, but these have been studies based on progression-free survival. Current therapies provide limited overall survival benefit in patients who have been previously treated, and this highlights a significant unmet medical need. This is a phase three clinical trial that compared nivolumab, which is an immune checkpoint therapy agent, and is the first immune checkpoint therapy agent in a phase three study in renal cell carcinoma. Patients were randomized to receive nivolumab versus everolimus. There's a study design, it's depicted here. It's over 800 patients who were randomized one to one. 410 patients received nivolumab, 411 patients were everolimus. Uh, patients were treated until progression or intolerable toxicity, and treatment beyond progression was permitted. Uh, enrolled patients did previously receive one or two prior antiangiogenic treatment. The primary endpoint of the study is shown here, and it's an overall survival benefit. Basically, we had a median overall survival benefit of 25 months for nivolumab-treated patients and 19.6 months for the everolimus-treated patient. The study met its endpoint of overall survival benefit with a statistically significant p-value and benefit of greater than five months seen in the nivolumab-treated patients. Also, the objective response rate showed that 25% of patients had responses to treatment with nivolumab versus only 5% with everolimus, and this was also statistically significant for this study. The treatment-related adverse events I'll present in more detail tomorrow. The grade three or four treatment-related adverse events were less frequent with nivolumab than with everolimus, and treatment-related adverse events leading to discontinuation were also experienced by fewer patients in the nivolumab-treated group versus everolimus. The most common treatment-related adverse events of any grade reported in the nivolumab arm were fatigue, nausea, pruritus, and in the everolimus arm, fatigue, stomatitis, and anemia. There were no treatment-related deaths in the nivolumab treatment arm. This suggests that nivolumab has a favorable safety profile in patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma. So the key conclusions are listed here. Checkmate 025 met its primary endpoint, demonstrating overall survival superiority with nivolumab versus everolimus. This is the only phase three trial to demonstrate a survival advantage in previously treated patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma versus standard therapy. Nivolumab was associated with a greater number of objective responses than everolimus. The survival improvement and favorable safety profile demonstrated in this phase three trial provides evidence for nivolumab as a potential new treatment option for previously treated patients with metastatic renal cell carcinoma. Based on the positive results of this trial, nivolumab was granted a breakthrough therapy designation from the FDA for advanced renal cell carcinoma. Thank you.